this edition of Lent Talk, my dear friends in Christ, we are reflecting on the theme, Jesus reveals himself to us through life experiences. A biblical reflection, a biblical text is Luke chapter 8 from verse 40 to 56. There we find Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, approached Jesus with a cry saying, Come and heal my only daughter who is at the point of death. My dear friends in Christ, Jesus does not reveal himself to us in the laboratory like a chemical. No, he reveals himself to us through life experiences. The more we pay attention to our life experiences, the more we are able to discover and recognize the voice of God and what he is saying to us. Ordinarily, if that biblical passage was to end at that point, we would find it easy to guess the reaction of Jesus. That is, Jesus who so much loves little children and wants them to come to him would not delay to attend to a child who is at the point of death. True to our expectation, Jesus followed Jairus to his house. But then something happened on the way. A woman who suffered hemorrhage for 12 years came and touched Jesus and received her healing. The woman has been sick. The woman needed healing. But then, she was not at the point of death as compared with Jairus' daughter. So, Jairus' daughter needed more attention at that point in time compared to this woman. But Jesus took her time to, his time to attend to the woman. He asked, who touched me? And after seeing who touched him, he also further discussed and interacted with the woman. At that point in time, what must have been going through the mind of Jairus? I called this man to come and heal my daughter because I believe that he is able to heal the sick. He has done it before, he will be able to do it again for my daughter. And here he is delaying. As that was going on, people came and said to the man, Your daughter is dead. Do not bother him anymore. Do not bother Jesus anymore because what they know that Jesus is able to do, the time has elapsed for him to do that, and that is to heal the sick. Rest in Christ, the purpose of Jesus' delay is to increase the awareness of Jairus and the people on who he is and on what he can do. Yes, Jesus can heal the sick, but far more than that, he can also raise the dead. My dear friends in Christ, sometimes we pray and pray, and it seems as if God is not answering our prayers. It seems as if God is delaying in answering our prayers. My dear friends, God is not delaying. God wants you to know more about him. God wants to teach you something more about him. He wants to reveal himself more to you through life experiences. And so in this pandemic situation where the world is facing the coronavirus pandemic, the question we would ask ourselves, what is Jesus revealing about himself to us in this situation? And so my dear friends, even though we cannot gather physically in the church to pray, to celebrate the Holy Mass, but we cannot forget that the home is the domestic church. The home is the first church, and so we must go back to our home. We must go back to the church of our homes and pray in our homes. One thing is certain, when we go other on our knees to pray, heaven will open in our favor. Even those who have died, Jesus is also saying, I am the resurrection and the life. So my dear friends, we continue to pray that we will not lose faith, but we understand what Jesus is saying to us. At the end of it all, may we come out victorious through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the cross of Almighty, where your